go ahead. My boyfriend's making me take all these pictures of scorpions. Not too comfortable with that. Here, this is Widow, and I'm making a vlog for poo smear. Um, we were talking earlier today about handling scorpions and how I like to do it, and I told him that I'd make a video of me handling some of my captured scorpions. So, I have in here, that's a South African flat rock scorpion, and I that belonged to another four and a four scorpion. to the scorpion forum, they get told me that you can tell that it's actually a different species in the same genus called Palsidens. And uh, you can tell because there's little yellow stripes on the back of each um, metasomal turgite. That's what that's called. But what I like to do, take my spoon, and then you just pick him up with a spoon. And we're starting with her because she will never sting you in a thousand years, you know. Um, she's really, really nice. And then when you put her in this cup, and you just put her on the ground. And she is pretty nice. You can see right there, she's a little alerted. When they put their tail up like that, you know, they're not very happy. You can tell they relax when they, they'll set their tail down. Um, you know, she's, uh, she never gets bugged. She hasn't been taken out of her tank for months, probably. Um, so she's not used to this. It probably makes her nervous. Um, and she has a date in January. So I don't know what's going on. I know they don't like to eat when they're about to smear. But this species is notorious. Have some babies, and I, I'm thinking doubtful that she's gonna have any babies because you can see her, her skin's not even taut, she's not growing at all, it's actually wrinkly a little bit, she's shrinking. Um, so who knows what that's all about? No babies in my immediate future, apparently. Um, so there's that. You can also, if you if you uh, get the nerve, you can tail them. You can grab them by the tail, but they don't like that. When you grab them by the tail, they'll usually fold up and try and pinch your fingers. So I like the I like the cut method. And then to get them back in, you know, she usually doesn't like to go backwards in somewhere. Um, it's kind of hard to get her off. You can try and spoon her. But this is a South African flat rock scorpion. And you know what? The most people who start with scorpions, they usually get like an uh, emperor, those big, huge black ones. I'll just put her back in her in her cage. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> um, I usually like to, or people usually like to get the the emperors first. But I've had tons of emperors. And I thought, man, emperors are kind of boring. Everyone has emperors. They're played out. So I'm like, I'm going to get this flat rock scorpion instead. And it's the worst I idea that I've ever had. Because she's never eaten in the entire time I've had her for like nine months now. And uh, she never, rarely comes out of her cave. And when she does, it's, you know, at three in the morning when we're not awake anyway. So, uh, yeah. If you're a, a new scorpion person, which I'm not really new, but I haven't done as many species as like people who are really into it. And uh, if you are thinking about getting one of these, have a bunch of other scorpions that are cool. <laughs> Mine is really cool. I don't know. Um, Go on. 
no. Come on, come on, get. Come on. You fucking asshole. Jesus. Okay, there we go. Now well, we got that. Got water dish in there. Okay. Now for the next one. These ones are the ones that make me nervous because these guys will feed me. They're a little. They're not so much like aggressive as as they're just. Well, I have one that's very aggressive. I gave him the master blaster. His name is Alcatraz. Alcatraz. Um, these are wild caught. I caught these in in Bend. And Prineville. Um, let's see. We're just going to try and get her. I think this is a girl. She's fat. She might be pregnant. I hope she's pregnant because these guys are cool. Loading. Hope she doesn't sting me. Um, they're not so much aggressive, but they, they are. They are. And they do, uh, you know. Whoa, just put her in the Tupperware. Yeah, she doesn't want to watch. She's so fat, and she might be pregnant. Actually, if you look on the side of her, you see a little white dot there. That might be a baby poking out of the side of her belly. Can they see that? Mm. No? No, oh, no, no. I got it. Okay. So, who knows? Um... I hope it's a I hope it's a little baby. Um, I'd love to have a bunch of these little guys. And then uh, I took sixteen out of the wild of the Primeville Reservoir, so it'd be really neat if I could put back sixteen, you know, into the desert and and have a couple more that I raised from babies. But as you can see, they don't try and sting you. I can put my finger in front of here. She's not going to try and sting me or anything like that. You know, they're more... They're they're good little guys. This is um, Pararoctinus boreus. It's the northern scorpion. There's several different species that are just like this. Uh, like there's Pararo uh, Pararoctinus utahensis. And there's... Uh, um, Pararoctinus something. Anyway, they all look like this, but this is the northern variety. This is from, like, Oregon, Washington, and Canada. Um, just, just leave her alone for a second. You leave her alone for a second. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, she's the big one. I picked the fat, I picked the big, fat, healthy-looking ones out of the bunch, and I gave John the mean ones. And, uh, I also gave him um, a couple of, of babies, so pretty cool. You can see she's got that really sharp, sharp stinger there. But uh, yeah, let's see if I can get her in there. Where are you gonna go? Oh, okay. Jesus! All right, let's see what the next one is. The next one rarely comes out that I ever see her. There she is. No, I want to be. Come on, little girl. You're at nine minutes. It's okay. Uh, I don't have to make the short videos anymore. I'm trying to get her out of here. She's not, uh, she's not one that likes to be held. Oh, look, I scooped up a dead cricket when we fed him the last time. They, they, uh, stung just a bunch of crickets, and so there's, like, dead crickets all over the place. It's like a cricket holocaust in here. Um, oops. He's upside down on my hand. Well, as you can see, you know, they do not try and sting you. There are some scorpions that will, but the average scorpion, no. They just don't. They're just hoping that your hand is the ground, not, uh, and, and not something bad. So, 
that's how Widow holds scorpions. And I guess that'll be it.